Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to anyone who's new here as well because I appreciate the title of the video may have brought in a few curious newcomers. If you are new here, then very quickly, hello, my name is Glenn, this is Well I Never and on my blog and here on my YouTube channel, I talk about living with a visual impairment. I have a couple of relatively minor eye conditions compared to many other people, but they still do change the way that I live my life. And so I talk about, you know, the, the challenges I face and also, you know, the ways I get around things and the things that are accessible that I'm able to do. And I kind of advocate for accessibility for visually impaired people and disabled people at large as well. Um, but I also talk about going out and about and doing things like going to audio described theatre shows and museum tours that are accessible and things like that and going out for walks and going travelling to various places. Um, but I also talk about the entertainment I enjoy as well, like TV and films and music, as in this instance. And I'm a big Queen fan, have been for a long time. I've not seen them live, but um, I have been a big fan of theirs for a long time. And I've got all their albums and their DVDs and I've got the solo material by Freddie Mercury and Brian May and Roger Taylor as well. And yeah, they've just released a big box set of their album, The Miracle, which was originally released in 1989, at a period when things were changing quite radically for the band. You know, they were no longer touring. They stopped touring in 1986 and they just had news of Freddie Mercury's HIV diagnosis. They hadn't made it public at that time, but they knew about it. And Brian had had marital problems as well. And so, yeah, it was a, a, a different period, a difficult period for them. But um, yeah, they decided to uh, you know, work on this album and got it out in 89. And one of the key changes with this album was that they decided to credit the songs to the whole band, regardless of who conceived each song. The whole band got the songwriting credit for it, which they kind of remarked later that they wish they'd done earlier. So, yeah, they just released a big box set for the album with lots of um, session material and other bits and pieces in it. So I thought I'd unbox it on camera. I don't do unboxing videos very often, um, so I thought I'd do that as it's uh, quite a significant set. Um, online, this is the big collector's edition and they were selling it for $169.99. It's now sold out. I don't know if they'll release this particular one. There are cheaper versions. Um, you can get just the eight disc set for $144.99. I've got the collector's edition that includes a press kit as well, which is why it sold out quickly because it was relatively limited edition. And there are other smaller sets as well. And you can download the songs online as well. There's various permutations of this set that you can buy. But yeah, I got the big collector's edition with the press pack, which was being sold for $169.99. I got a 10% discount for my birthday. Um, this was a code they sent me back on my birthday a few months ago, which not everyone seems to get. There is a Queen fan I talked to quite a lot online who hasn't had a code on her birthdays. And I certainly can't see a way to add the, your date of birth to the account online anymore. So maybe it's something I added years ago. But yeah, they sent me a 10% discount code for my birthday which worked, um, so I got it a bit cheaper. Um, there is a shipping cost as well, though, which bumped the cost back up a bit. But yeah, ultimately the um, set cost me 152.99, which is composed of 127.99 for the Super Deluxe eight disc set, and then the press pack cost 25 pound. So yeah, 152.99 in total, six pound 26 shipping cost, so order total of £159.25, which isn't bad, considering how much there is in here. I think that should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to opening it. And they have done other box sets in the past, incidentally. They did do a News of the World box set, for instance, at one point for the 40th anniversary of that album. But I didn't get that because it just didn't seem worth the money to me at that time. I didn't need the LP that was in it. I already had the album and I could listen to the Raw Sessions tracks, which are amazing. Um, online and see the documentary online as well so at that time i just didn't feel it was worth the money i couldn't really afford it at that point but with this box set for the miracle yes there is an lp in there which again is useless to me because i can't play them but there is enough extra material in there that just makes it worthwhile and for me the 10 percent discount kind of nullifies the cost of the lp anyway which helps so yeah i just thought i'd open it up um I could do the press pack first as this was obviously used to promote the album to begin with to the media so it makes sense to kind of start with this this is exclusive it's just in a plain kind of white card envelope so yeah we have nice shrink wraps press kit with the um picture from the album on the front that is a very cool picture and um, with the faces all merged together like that that is very clever and you've got uh, the eyes on the back as well so I mean, if you know the album you'll know that design um, but I do like that very much. Okay. So yeah, album cover without the uh, reflection of the shrink wrap and the eyes on the back. It does look very nice. So that opens up. We've got various things in here. So again, you've got the picture of the album cover there. And you've got a teaser tape 
picture there, and this is the teaser tape you get now. It's just a mini CD. That's it. And on the back. So it basically says excerpts and tracks on the forthcoming album, The Miracle, for promotional use only. And there you have an itty bitty CD. Obviously, this was originally a cassette tape, but got a little CD there. And then we've got a booklet, again with the album cover on the front. And we've got some here. Biography, 1989, for 18 years, Queen have dominated the charts and the field of live performance. They have sold over 80 million albums and appeared in front of more than 6 million people worldwide, etc, etc. Just a bit of text there inside the front. And then, yeah, it continues, so it's a whole biography there, which will be interesting to read through. And then there's a nice picture of the band. And then more text as well. So it's a very informative uh, little book like this. It'll be interesting to read through. And then there's another picture of the band concluding the biography. And there's a discography as well on this page. And then obviously the eyes on the back cover. So that's nice. This is a relatively thick piece of paper, a bit of card. Queen's 16th LP, The Miracle, press release basically. It's got a list of tracks at the bottom there. And then there's some more text on the back as well. Comments from the band. Again, some more interesting stuff to read. And we have a nice glossy black and white picture of the group. They're quite thick on these pieces of cards. I'm just having to double check that I'm not picking up two at once or anything, but no, that is definitely um, one sheet. So yeah, that's a nice photo. Um, as is that one, the one there. They're definitely nice, um, nice and glossy, these. And that is it, my look of it in there. Um, so yeah, this is the big box then. Let's, um, open this there's nothing on here other than a barcode sticker um, which has a date of the 13th of july 2022 um, which must have been when it was manufactured put together and there there's a bit more card protecting the box in there as well Just slide into the seat. That's heavy. Wow, look at that. That is a big box. There's a sticker on the front uh, LP, 5 CD, Blu ray, DVD, deluxe box set. Um, and then there's some very small print there basically about what's in it. And you've got the full. Listing of the contents on the back. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, obviously, when I take the uh, shrink wrap off, it won't be quite so reflective anyway. It'd be easy to read. Oh, it's not satisfying opening that. There you go. That is a big box. It's quite weighty. It is quite a heavy box. And this sheet actually comes off. It's a loose sheet telling you what's in the set. And so, celebrating one of Queen's most enduring albums, The Miracle from 1989, this eight-disc collector's edition includes a special long-lost original LP cut, gatefold vinyl, including the reinstatement of Too Much Love Will Kill You, the first time the song has been presented as part of the album for which it was initially intended. Well, so that's interesting. It's a great song, that, Too Much Love Will Kill You. It's not on the CD, they've added it to the LP, that's exclusive to the LP. This 180-gram disc was cut from the original LP production master, the Bob Ludwig 2011 remastered CD album features here too, as does the Miracle Sessions, an hour-long disc of previously unreleased recordings, including an unprecedented six unpublished songs. So some of the stuff 
Um, we have heard before, but some of the stuff we haven't, which makes it all the more exciting. Alternative Miracle is a collection of non-album B-styles and extended mixes, while Miracumentals gathers backing tracks and instrumentals of the 10 familiar songs. And there's radio interviews as well, presenting the BBC Queen for an Hour programme, the very last interview that the four band members gave together, along with the US radio appearance with Brian and Roger discussing the album on the Long Rolling Rockline programme. And then there's a Blu-ray and DVD of the videos as well, five promo videos from the album as well as the making of featurette and it includes John Deacon's final interview that he ever gave. This box also contains memorabilia based on originals from Queen's Archive, a lavish 76 page hardback book features previously unseen photographs, original handwritten fan club letters from the band and extensive liner notes providing the background story with recollections from about the band members on making the album, creating some of their more memorable videos and a great deal more precise. So yeah, in terms of um, the discs, you've got the LP of The Miracle, as I mentioned, which includes Too Much Love Will Kill You, as we just explained. Then you've got the CD of The Miracle, the 2011 remaster. It's the next discs that get particularly interesting, though. Um, the Miracle Sessions is perhaps the most fascinating thing to listen to. I'm really looking forward to that. So you've got the original take of Party and Khashoggi Ship, original take with John's ending of The Miracle, original take of I Want It All, an early version of The Invisible Man with guide vocal, a demo called When Love Breaks Up, real drums and bass version of Breakthrough, Demo of Rain Must Fall, original rough mix of Scandal, My Baby Loves Me, Was It All Worth It? Really original take of that. You Know You Belong To Me, I Guess We're Falling Out, that's another demo. Dog With A Bone, Water, that's a demo. And Face It Alone, which was released as a single recently. They'd rescued it from the session tapes and polished it up and everything. And it's a really nice track. It's different to a lot of Queen's tracks, but it's still very nice. And it's always lovely hearing new vocals from Freddie. And then the next CD is called Alternative Miracle. And this gathers together single edits, 12-inch versions, B-sides, that kind of thing. So stuff that has been released before, but it's nice to have it all in one place. Um, especially if you haven't collected the singles in the past or you haven't had all the bonus tracks from albums that have been released and things like that. So I Want It All, the single version is presented here and that's the edit that was released on Greatest Hits as well. So that's the version a lot of people will be familiar with. The album edit is different to that. Um, but both versions are good. I do like the single version because of the way that it starts, but also the album edit is uh, longer and so it has extra bits in it. Hang On In There, the B-side. Uh, the 12-inch version of Breakthrough, which I really like. I've heard that before. It's, again, quite different to the original version, but it is a great mix of that, the 12-inch one. B-side, Stealing, 12-inch version of The Invisible Man. Again, that's pretty good. Hijack My Heart, B-side. All these B-sides are pretty good as well. I have heard these before. 12-inch version of Scandal, B-side, My Life Has Been Saved. And then a couple of live B-sides as well. Stone Cold Crazy from The Rainbow in London in 1974 and My Melancholy Blues from Houston in Texas in 1977. And then finally, there's an instrumental called Chinese Torture. So yeah, all those tracks I have heard before, but they are all very good. Well worth having in one place like that. And then the next CD is Miracumentals, they call it. It's basically instrumentals and backing tracks. Well, as awesome as Freddie is, it's wonderful to hear the tracks without his vocals because you can get to focus on the instrumentation much more and you often hear things that you missed. And if you're into karaoke, you can sing along with them as well. I'm not going to do that, but some people might want to. And then you've got a CD of the Miracle radio interviews. So you've got their Queen for an Hour interview. Not just the actual show itself, but there's also a trailer beforehand and some outtakes afterwards as well, which is uh, can be quite interesting to hear. And then the Rockline interview that they did as well. And then there's a Blu-ray and a DVD of the Miracle videos. So you've got the promo videos for I Want It All, Breakthrough, The Invisible Man, Scandal and The Miracle. All great videos. And then you've got the Miracle Interviews, which includes um, John Deacon's final interview, the making of the Miracle videos, and the making of the Miracle album cover. So again, these are all things I've seen before. These are all things that have been released before. But again, it's nice to have a dedicated Blu-ray and DVD for those. And let's have a, a proper opening of this after all that. So there's the lid. And there's a, a red tab here to pull everything out with. You basically get a whole pile of stuff then. So, in here, we have the poster off, and again, the album cover basically. So, you've got the um, title of the album. And then that classic image again. There's a big, big poster there. Yep, you've got the names of uh, 
the signals along the bottom as well. So that is a nice poster. There's a long poster here of um, all the band members. So. individual images as well so in a way you've got individual images and glossy images as well band members there's a glossy image of Brian there and John and Roger and of course Freddie as if I even need to name the guys because you know full well who they are. Yeah, they are lovely photos. A couple of postcards as well, although why you'd want to send these off, I don't know, but these are versions of um, the album cover, kind of filtered versions of those space pictures. And on the back, you can fill it in and post it off as a postcard if you so wish. But uh, why would you want to and you can keep that? This design originally appeared on the final single from the album The Miracle in November 1989. Featured on both the standard 7-inch and 12-inch single sleeves as well as on the CD and cassette single formats. So there you go, that tells you why they've used that particular image. Again, similar deal with this one. The design originally appeared on the final single from the album The Miracle. In November 89, it featured on the limited edition UK 12 inch single sleeve only. So, yeah, it's nice to have a unique image like that. Yeah, that's a nice collection of images in there. This is the, the Gate to Fold LP, so no surprises as to what's on the front of it. You've got the album cover there. There's a sticker on the front there pointing out that it includes Too Much Love Will Kill You. So, if you're into vinyl, you'll be very happy with this. And we've got the track listing on the back. Um, yeah, it folds outwards. It looks like you've got uh, lyrics to all the tracks in there. And then you pull out the LP. So you've got an image of the band there. You've also got credits below there. Nothing too amazing, but it's nice that the relevant people have, of course, been credited. And then you've got the eyes on the back, of course. There's your RP. First time I've held an RP for a long time. Um, but yeah, you've got the uh, tracks listed in the centre. And then the other side. So yeah, looks very nice. So that just slides into a little pocket in the gatefold cover there, like that. And then just fold shut. And then finally we come to the most significant part of the set, the book. This has got the CDs inside it as well, so um, that makes it the weightiest part of the set. Um, it's quite a thick book. Um, nothing on the back, just an EMI logo at the bottom really. Um, but yeah, if you open it up, you've got um, the first four discs in the front there. These are all different colours, going quite tightly, so they're not going to slide out. The first disc, that is the Miracle. And the Sessions disc, kind of orangey coloured disc. Alternative Miracle. And then the Miracle Mentals. And then, likewise in the back, you've got three discs. So that's the radio interviews. And then the DVD and the Blu-ray are actually encased in little slip cases. Um, so you've got a slightly different design there. Rather than all the faces joined together, you've got the bodies joined together for the Miracle videos. That's quite fun. I don't think I've seen that design before anywhere. And the list of the contents on the back. And then as for the actual content of the book itself, um, obviously you've got another big image of the album cover that keeps popping up. but so. And you've got The Miracle, A Worthwhile Experience. So you've got a picture of the band and an essay there. And 
and again it continues there and there okay, quite a lot to read it's fairly small print but uh, I can soon magnify that that's not a problem nice collage of images there But I want it all. Lots of lovely images in here. I'll have to go through this properly, obviously. There's going to be lots of things and details that I miss. You might spot things and say, why hasn't he mentioned that? And I'll say, well, I haven't spotted it yet. Um, but uh, yeah, lots and lots of lovely photos. Is a wonderful gallery of images. I'm going to have to definitely look at these more closely. Um, well, and those are the uh, handwritten letters they were talking about. So they might not be easy for me to read, but. Thankfully, it looks like they've transcribed the text um, into typewritten text, so you can actually read <laughs> what's been said, which is good. So that would be nice to look through those. Oh yeah, talking about Breakthrough, I do like the video for that song with the train, the railway. Um, it's really lovely. There's some wonderful pictures from that by the look of it. That's good. <laughs> they had fun making that, I think. I mean, who can blame them? And what can you say? I mean, it's just... I'm impressed by how many pictures they are and how big the book is. I didn't know the book would perhaps be necessarily this big, um, but I'm glad it is because you get really big pictures. Um, so, um, it's all, so, really nice glossy paper as well. Um, so, yeah, it's really good quality. This, I, I definitely do feel like um, with the size of this book, you've got lots of. You know, writing as well as lots of wonderful photos and everything and all the discs you get and the extra little bits and pieces as well i do feel like i got my money's worth out of this um that's before i've even listened to anything but then i know that the music's going to be wonderful anyway so that is a given you do get a lot for your money in this no doubt about that um so this is a selection of Press reviews, and a lot of them in very small print. Again, I can magnify them, that's fine. Scandal. Often gets overlooked, that song, because obviously it doesn't feature on greatest hits, so people tend to forget about it, which is a shame. And that's the great thing about Queen's albums, if you're only into um, Grace's Hits, which is where I started, where a lot of people start. Um, you know, I, the first icon I got into Queen was when I went to a tribute show. A friend took me to one when I was in school, and then I got their Greatest Hits. And then once you start their Greatest Hits, and then you start digging into their albums, you find all sorts of wonderful delights that you just didn't know about before. It's a real treasure trove when you dig into their albums. Um, yeah, so the miracle in, the, in Queen's own words. So there's... Um, Lots of comments by the band members on the different tracks there. Oh, 
and that's about the, the video to go with the miracle where they used uh, youngsters um, impersonating the band members um, who were brilliant I mean you know, I wonder what they're doing now I mean that's uh, can anything in their lives top doing that uh, being with Queen I don't see how anything could really um, that was a really special experience for them and they were awesome And again, lots of wonderful pictures. It's never ended there. I mean, it's perfectly possible I might have skipped a page or something by accident by turning to it at once, but I'm trying to show you everything. Um, but then if I have missed anything, you'll get surprised if you get the box set yourself and look through it, don't you? Um, and then track listings. So, yeah, so you've got the uh, track listings there. And there's also some comments as well by the band members there as well. So um, still worth looking through that. Some comments by the sessions. Track listing there. And then Alternative Miracle. Again, there's some uh, writing to go with the uh, alternative tracks. And then you've got the instrumentals and the interviews. Again, there's a bit of writing about those too. So. Um, yeah, and then you've got final picture of the band and some credits as well so anything else no that's it so yeah i am very impressed with that and i haven't even read it yet <laughs> um i think you know i i want to have a proper kind of sit down and go through that and um yeah it's going to take me a little while to go through it and to read some of the stuff but i know i can magnify it either by using magnifier or by taking photos of the pages and enlarging them on my computer screen or whatever um but yeah while i'm sitting here why not um how about i stick the dvd in and just have a quick look and see what the uh, menu system's like So this is how the DVD loads. I've just been having a quick flick through the menu system myself just to get a, a little feel for what's on there. Um, but yeah, you get the animation from the video game in the Invisible Man video, which is really cool. I hadn't expected that. I hadn't really known what to expect. But um, yeah, it looks really cool. It probably doesn't come across very well on camera because you're not seeing it directly. Um, but it is really nice um, eye-catching retro design. And you've got that little bit of ambient music playing in the background, which you might just be able to hear. Um, so that's it's really nice and um, you've got all the, uh, the animations going on as well throughout which is cool um, obviously you've got a play all option to uh, play everything um, if you're going to choose track you can choose between the different promo videos I want it all break through the invisible man scandal the miracle you've got option for commentary as well you can have audio commentary and you can choose between stereo and surround sound for videos and then if you go into the extras menu You've got um, the interviews and the making of the miracle videos, the making of the album cover and subtitle options as well. Um, and these extras and videos are nothing new. Um, they have been released before on Grace's Video Hits 2. This is the booklet from that. You've got the extras on there. You've got the videos on there already. So none of this is new, but it's nice to have it all in one place nonetheless, especially as the videos are now available on Blu-ray, which this wasn't. Grace's Video Hits 2 was a DVD. So the fact that these are now available in Blu-ray format, in high definition, I'm really looking forward to watching them. You know, if, if they've been remastered or upscaled or whatever, they should look really, really good. So yeah, um, shut that up. Um, yeah, I'm just basically really happy with the set. It looks really, really cool. Um, you know, it, it does feel like I've got my money's worth out of it. There's so much music in there to listen to videos to watch, a huge booklet to read with beautiful photos in it and all the other wonderful extra bits and pieces as well, the extra bits of memorabilia and stuff. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I know it costs a fair bit of money and, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you may know that I've been made redundant recently, so you're thinking, well, why is he spending that kind of money? It's because, you know, I have had my redundancy pay and I've had other money coming in as well. That I've been earning for things, including research and stuff like that. So, you know, I can afford this. You know, I can't afford to buy lots and lots of things like this, but I can afford this as a Christmas treat for myself. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it. Basically, I'm looking forward to listening to it. So yeah, that's it, really. I just thought I'd show you that. I hope you enjoyed it. So 
yeah thank you very much for watching if you made it this far i hope you found that interesting and i will see you for another video very soon bye for now